charged. Boop. That's the sound of my phone charging. And actually, is there anything updated here? Oh shit! I gotta mute that. <laughs> Uh, let's go creator dashboard. Yeah, creator dashboard. Oh, I gotta pull out everything off too. That's not gonna be a problem. Gotta wait until things load up. Oh, just remembered I need. Well, firstly, I need to. Need that pre show. And hello, Night Azure. How are you doing? Miles the Wolf, Spinel Lover. Up here. Okay, so alert box. Let's go ahead and bring that open. Cold Dust Pony, thank you for subscribing. I do apologize for the double, um, the double sound over there. That's the result of, what is it called? Uh, there's two screens, so that way I can uh, focus on pulling out the next. There's the donation bar, still setting up. For some reason, like if I have two windows open and the alert box is there, it doubles the amount of time it plays, and I don't know why. Like, there's supposed to be, like, a feature for it, like, when it's off or something like that. Let me see what it is. Shut down source when not visible. Okay. So, I don't know what its deal is. Um... Uh, did I pull these two out? Yeah, I just did. Do you... Uh, keeping track of what else there is to pull up and been watching Danganronpa the animation oh my god it's good I've heard a lot about Danganronpa I remember that there was once a fan fiction of that and that was a whole different scenario pop out the chat there we go let's go ahead and switch the screen over to this one Already got 15 people in, damn. All right. Uh, oh, I just remembered I got to switch up the, let's see. Looking up a bit. Yeah, so it's going to be a SNES game. And making sure that everything else is unchecked so that way I don't slow everything down. And you know what, I'll just keep these at the top. Pre-show and post-show, I'll definitely keep those um, there for the convenience. And... This is me thinking out loud. All right, so milestones, chat box. All right, seem to be all good so far. Wow, seriously? Let's see if this is doable. Nope. And it looks like people are leaving. Yikes. Well, you know what? I'm still going to continue streaming regardless. Let's get that playing for right now. You're not alone when it comes to talking out loud. I think some people call that um, thinking out loud. I should get uh, yeah. I should get a game started and make sure that uh, let's see that the controller is actually functioning because I don't know what its deal is. Sometimes I plug it in and like nothing happens. It's really obnoxious. So. No, 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 no. I don't need to get that started yet. 
No, just get like a simple game. Um, there we go. I hear people say you talking to yourself is a sign of madness, but I tend to use it just to remember things or keep stuff straight in my head, like when I'm going through a list. Yeah, the whole idea of talking to yourself, supposedly, it's kind of silly. Because, well, what I mean by that is, let me go ahead and transition that over just a bit. Uh, the whole idea of, of talking to yourself implies that you're being crazy or you're getting, like, you're going through you're going insane or whatever that shit is. That's not really true. Uh, basically, it's just... You're basically just uh, just thinking out loud or something that's on your mind. Or there's something that's in your head so much that you just want to get it out. Now, obviously, you don't want to do that when you're in public because, yeah, it's going to make you look really, really awkward and embarrassing. But um, I think that's often misunderstood. Because if that were really the case, then I guess I'm a crazy motherfucker because I have an extreme habit of talking to myself. By the way, Heartless, thank you for hosting. Where's, um... I'm making sure I got everything else set up. Magical Star, thank you for hosting. Uh, for the record, uh, this, this this is not going to be the official game I'm playing. Although at one point I would love to kick this game's ass, despite how hard it is. No, um, I'm going to be continuing with uh, Goof Troop when I actually get started uh, playing the games. But right now I'm doing through a little bit of a test run to make sure that everything is in check. Because every time, like, you guys have noticed this before, whenever I go to plug in a controller, or I assume that it's ready, and that I get started on streaming, and then the controller's just not working at all. And I'm just like, God fucking damn it. So I have to, like, readjust and make sure that everything is functioning. You know, because it gets extremely awkward afterwards. Uh, Retro Gamer Kevin, this is actually Gradius 3 on the Super Nintendo. I think the second one is only Japan in the on the NES. Correct me if I'm mistaken, I'm pretty sure some of you are actually knowledge with, you know, the various titles of retro games. I know that Birch is one of them. Uh, there's a few other people. I can't think of at the top of my head. Fuck you! But yeah, uh... So yeah, everything seems to be working so far. So I'm just gonna chill and just like, you know, just screw around just a bit and then when the time comes um oh yeah i gotta get a i have to get a call started that's like the last thing i do before i continue uh, anything else is get a call started in fact i better take care of that now uh and make sure you know fingers crossed there's no um what is it like any cutout or anything like that thank you <laughs> Uh, earlier today, um, Keyframe and I went to go shop for a few groceries, and uh, we got a thing for uh, Kichi. And I gotta pop up all these windows again. Parodies. Oh, yes, parody. Okay, every time I think of parody, uh, parody is, I, I can't say it correctly. Sorry for the mispronunciation, but every time I think about that game, I think about that Game Grumps episode where, <laughs> should you not, Aaron actually shat himself out of anger. Okay, yeah, Birch pointed it out. Okay, so Gradius 2 was uh, NES in Europe in 1988. Hmm, never got an American release, huh? Isn't that awkward? The US didn't get the until the virtual console. Oh, no! Yikes. Mm. Oh, you know, just thinking about that, like... Uh, let's see, can I join the rest? Um... I, I suppose... Uh, give me a second, let me go ahead and pause this. Oh, very funny, Wolfhead! 
I fired and I missed and I fired and I missed. It's like, come on with the fucking jellyfish. I shot it like three times. I shot it like three goddamn times and it wasn't dying. I think I sharded myself. <laughs> goddamn. I don't know what the fuck it was that got me laughing so hard. Maybe it's because of the potty humor. The only thing I could say is it was fucking gross. Jesus Christ. Here, have your daily dose of whatever the fuck it is that I'm shooting. They're not lasers, they're something. Have a daily dose of laser waves. There we go. Come on. Just a little more. One more. There. Now you're done for the day. Alright, I'm done with this shit. Let's see. Hi, Ellie. Didn't you have D&D? &D? Yeah, I do. I'm just here for like 20 minutes or so before I start setting up it for everything, but I've got some free time, so I figured I'd come bother you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I just read Jesse's um, update message. Ugh, bad timing. My laptop to need an update. Yeah, no, uh, that that's, that's annoying. Very noxious. Oh, that's right. Uh, Heartless said he hey, wanted Logic. to be here. Hey, hey, Logic. How you doing? I am okay. I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> it's like you first just arrived. Oh, I'll be back in a second. Watch. As soon as you come back. I'll be back in a minute. It's like Myth. It's like, I'm here, and then I'm not. Well, except Myth does it on purpose. <laughs> just jumps right in. Pussy! And just leaves. And you know it, clamp your hams. <laughs> I never get tired of that. Where did that come from? Uh, she saw a picture of, um... She saw a picture of something that represented clamping your hams. And she thought it was hilarious that it's supposed to be like playing words. Bless you. Bless you again. Are we gonna go for three? Go for three? No? Uh, f fuck off. I'm getting over a really bad cold. Oh, okay, I didn't know about that part. Uh, I couldn't even talk for fucking two days. At least I'm not doing the fucking gunshot sneezes anymore. Oh. Just a moment. The laptop had to pick uh, today to update. Hey Jesse, any idea how long it'll take to be uh to update? I say that as it goes to a bit of a what is it? A bit of a delay, and then she'll probably have to like type it down on her phone or something. Uh, uh, I might mute myself every so often when I need to blow my nose. Uh, oh, I'm getting there. I'm actually pretty much recovered, except for, like, all the fun parts of getting rid of all the mucus. Ew, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> okay, so she doesn't know. All right. Oh, fuck off, Kazune. Uh, what did Kazune say? Let me look up. Cute yeah, we'll sneeze. See. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Everybody's always like, Ellie, your sneeze is so cute. You sound like you're getting... Fuck off. Compare compare yours to Ellie. I mean, uh, J uh, Lightning uh, Bliss. What? I meant Lightning Bliss. Wow. S slip of the goddamn tongue. Hello, it's me. I'm back. Uh... I derped. I derped hard. Yeah, I got right just in time to hear that. Compare Ellie's sneeze to Lightning Bliss's sneeze. Hers is just, ha, it's you. And I have to point that out there. She's like, shut up. Yeah, you all sound like. I sound like you all sound like you need. You all sound like you need a segue. Hold up. I'll I was, have the I, segue in a moment. I thought, I thought you were going to say we sound like we need Jesus. I mean, everybody needs Jesus a little bit every now and again. And the Lord came down to earth. <laughs> <laughs> but until such a time as we have Jesus, we'll have to settle for. Yeah. 
You know, it's a shame, no, Logic. No. You could have saved that for whenever I was, like, streaming an actual game. Yeah, but then I have to go downstairs and get it later, and my ribs really don't like me right now, so. What's wrong with the ribs? What's wrong with your ribs? Sick? What'd you do? Well, on my way out of the kitchen from getting my Pepsi, it, like, I got this pinging sensation from, where, like, sort of the midway of my torso. It's like... Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not a pain, it's just a ping. And if I move in a certain way, or oh, like, it's like a cramp or something. breathe in a certain yeah, something like that. I love how you called it a ping, like it's a fucking Discord notification. Well, it happens all, all the time. <laughs> yeah, it happens all the time, so I call it a ping. Is Hi, it... Solar, also nice. Where the hell are you guys saying Solar I... from? I never fucking. They said, oh, it's just logic. I would have to compare Logic's, um, Logic's speech to Gavin Free from, from Rooster Teeth. Take that as the biggest compliment I can. <laughs> I would not. Is that the guy who has to deal with the rage quit dude? Uh, that's the British dude who says really stupid things all the time. I'm getting caked with saliva. That's I'm getting caked just, with saliva? He literally said British. that. He's, that's, that sounds like something he would say. Yeah. Um, stuff. Now I remember it. It was Nick. yeah. It was when both him and the rage quit dude, I forgot his name, were playing Quop. Michael Jones. Okay, so yeah, Michael <laughs> Jones was playing freaking uh, Quop, and they they had to be like right next to each other, working with the um. Those poor the... fucking buttons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like British people say shit like that all the time. Like I'm caked in so and so, or he's nicked my batteries. No, no, it's not. <laughs> No, it's not shit like that. Gavin just says dumb shit. Like he'll ask questions like, "Will a newborn, will a newborn baby float in a pool or some shit like that?" What okay, what? <laughs> he asked. It was something about do, do babies float at one point like, because it's like he, he'd heard about water births and he's like, "Well, what happens to the baby when it comes out?" It floats up. <laughs> It doesn't drown immediately. Well, nothing drowns immediately. But yeah, you gotta otherwise, hold it up none, there none, for five seconds. Lover, you're better off not knowing what co-op is, trust me. I'll, I'll only give you this amount of cliff notes. It's one of the most notoriously frustrating games ever made. Let's just say the same guy who made that game also made the... the, 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 the Getting over it. Yeah, that, that. He's a fucking asshole when it comes to game design. I'll tell and you that much. Her husband's gonna have to play it again on on Monday because people donated it enough for him to fucking play it two weeks. Ago. Oh no! <laughs> oh. Anger, sweet, sweet rage and anger. Okay, when when is it? When is he gonna stream it? It's on Monday. It, it it's eight at it's eight at night for us, so that'll be about five, five of my end. Be five in the afternoon for you. Oh, oh God! I could just imagine him and with if, God if, damn it, <laughs> son of a bitch! Uh, <laughs> Chris isn't easy to genuinely piss off. That game was starting to do it. Well, obviously that game is known to rage everybody who touches. You seen what fucking Markiplier went through, didn't you? Uh, I. Yes. Let's just let's just say that he threw his chair across the room. He broke a couple of mice. <laughs> yeah, and by that I mean like actual like. I know what you meant. Yeah, like. So yeah, uh, it's you, it's a it's a very infuriating uh, game. Chris wants to share some dumb theory with you guys. I don't know. Oh dear God! Fire away. <laughs> Big brain time. All right, so the main reason I have to stream uh, uh, getting, getting over, over it with Benefati again, like as I was, um, pardon her, as I was playing. I know, I know. But <laughs> Ellie, I have a nose of a trumpet too. You're not alone. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but any, I mean, I I have a nose like a kazoo. Uh, Ask Blisk, she's heard it. Um, and she fucking almost died laughing one time when I was... But anyway, um, <laughs> as I was streaming it for the first time last week, there is somebody in my chat named who just goes under the name Agent G. Oh, she boy. Who 
Oh, $100. $100 at my stream. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, he's one of those people who can, like, put in a lot of money when uh, given the chance. And it's like, holy fuck, dude. No, um, well, I yeah, know. <laughs> because what, what it, and I see, I didn't know this because what I ended up doing, I was like, if I end up making three hundred dollars tonight, I'll stream this again. <laughs> and, Famous and last words. What oh. what happened was, uh, and see, he wasn't the only one to donate. Uh, Rainbow Dash fan also donated to me like five dollars. I was like, okay, okay hey, hey, yeah, sure, fine, thank. I mean. I'm thankful for anything, no matter how small it is. And yeah. then, Agent G and somebody fucking clipped it, probably because of my reaction. Oh, uh, boy. So it's on my channel. Uh, and they clipped it. Agent G throws in $195, and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. no. That's now, really cool. On slash mad lad. Here's my weird conspiracy, though. So, like, I don't know if he's been in your streams or anything, but it's like, it goes under the name Agent G. Right. Greg Sipes follows me on Twitter. What if it's him? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, I, could, I could be completely wrong. Oh, well. If Beast Boy is just hanging out watching a stream and he would have the money... <laughs> I'm just saying. But that's my dumb conspiracy theory. <laughs> Put um, on your tinfoil hats. And that's my husband, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! Uh, no, I, I've seen a couple of clips, Um, one of which I was laughing, well, two of which I was laughing my ass off. The first of which, he was in the middle of streaming Castlevania 4, and somebody in the chat was asking, like, hey, where's the salt? And you're like, he was like, I don't know what you're talking about. And then he accidentally kills himself into a spike fit, and he responds back, well, oh, there's your salt. There's your fucking salt. Are you happy? <laughs> yeah, Chris gets pretty incentivized when he... When he... <laughs> but he's screaming. And then there's one moment that, oh my god, like it blew my oh. mind that he it took him so long to find out about the death egg. Oh mm. uh, yeah, that was that's an old one. Still, I'm my just like favorite, Jesus. My favorite, one of my favorite cl um, clips from his streams is fuck is um when he was trying to cross the um bridge and Crash Bandicoot. Oh no. <laughs> You all laugh. You all know how hard that fucking level is. I have yet to play Crash Bandicoot, so I wouldn't know. But oh, trust me, this the you play this game, Brett. You will rage quit. You will get mad. Um, but the boars on the bridge kept on fucking killing him, and he was livid. Like he's like, I'm gonna fuck it. I want it. I'm gonna. I want to make a ham sand like ham prosciutto <laughs> pork chop. <laughs> Sandwich. I, I want a sandwich that's like fucking ten pigs had to die to make this thing. I'm gonna eat it savagely. I'm gonna eat it savagely and, so and then cartoon. turn the remains into shit. It's so bad in a video game bore that you just want to kill pigs afterwards. I will take your entire bloodline, you bald piece of shit. <laughs> also, Retro Gamer Kevin, despite how intense and difficult the stage is, I love Flying Battery Zone, mainly because of the music. Okay, Flying Battery sounds like a really weird band name, potentially metal. But no, um, yeah, I, I could, I can kind of see where Retro Gamer Kevin is coming from because you're on like a flying ship, and. You're bound to either plummy yourself into a pit if you're not careful, or you can get yourself smashed if you don't think uh, twice on what's ahead of you. Because there's a lot of like mechanics that can actually like crush you if you're not careful. Mm -hmm. Try cheesing through that stage. <laughs> I was able to play through most of the game without that big of a problem to the point where I forgot about what stages I didn't like. There's still that one stage that I fucking hated, and everybody knows it: Carnival Night Zone. Okay, nobody can blame me for Carnival Night Zone. Because aside from the obvious flying barrel, 
Um, yeah, fuck the, the entire stage is just claustrophobic. Like, Jesus, man. And the I like th- the music for it, though. Eh, I'm not too big on circus music. Hi, Ripple Effect. Hi, Ripple. I'll be so excited to stream that game once I'm back from Vegas. But Keep yeah. this motherfucker away from the slot machines at all costs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would tell that to, I he's would gonna t- go in with a thousand dollars and come back with a fucking penny going I don't know what happened <laughs> I just don't know what went wrong god fucking <laughs> damn it that is adorable it's amazing. Heartless Doom that's probably my favorite stage in the entire game Ice Cap Zone mainly because of the music hmm. in case it wasn't obvious the music in Sonic 3 is fucking amazing beautifully Interesting uh, trivia. I've I've heard that while uncredited, it was said that Michael Jackson did the music for it, and things are flip flop back and forth. And because of that, Sega can't do like some kind of remake of the game or something like that. Um, honestly, like we still have access to the original three game, uh, third game, but that song in particular is heavily based off of uh, Jetsons' Hard Times, and by Jetsons, it's spelled with a Z. I was about to say something really bad. What? So when you guys said there's this whole debate about whether or not Michael Jackson did music for one particular game so they can't do a remake of it, I'm just like, but why? He's dead. Because of the family. And I like, I understand. I do. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) It was more the he's dead bit that's a bit, ugh, than the, you know... I think you hate anyway, the chat. Speaking of tooth speaking of fucking tooth pulling video game experiences, while I was waiting for the stream, I went on Destiny 2 and went on PvP. Oh, here we go. Oh, just that much. Uh, okay. The the aim was quite simply to just win five matches. Not in a row, just win five matches at some point in total just to get some shaders for my armor or something. And um fun isn't a part of the pvp equation at all i got some good games in and found that the most dominant strategy was to just sit on one of the zones and use hard light which is the best auto rifle in the entirety of the game fight me you can't because i got hard light (laughs) (laughs) and at some point when i was on my fourth out of fifth win to get the items for doing the pursuit I just started having the worst luck as if the game was like, oh, you're nearly there. And eventually I had to switch game modes and try hard the fuck out of the game just to sneak in a win. Well, I say sneak in. We won five to three in elimination. So that was fun. Snick said he was there. Was he witnessing your rage? Snick was there. Yes. Mm. Oh, he could probably like feel it. Like he can... When logic is angry, we can all feel. <laughs> oh no, um, Wolfhead. Like Wolfhead. I think I've only ever really seen logic get mad once. Oh, I Dude, remember I've logic seen getting logic angry. I've seen logic like extremely distressed and upset. I've seen like I've seen like fifty shades of logic. Not in that. <laughs> you literally had to say that. You had to go Listen. there. You had to go there. Congratulations, fucking legends. God damn. Yeah, Morgan. I I know when Ellie's talking about, and as for when Golden and Wolfhead see me mad, that was when I was doing the White Palace on Hollow Knight. That's what it was, yeah, Hollow Knight. And then I hear you go, (laughs) It's just screaming. I almost could have cooked with the rage and salt he was dishing out. That's what Snoop says. <laughs> you should have seen. like you should have seen me every time I got killed by someone with a revoker or a recluse, which are basically the GG easy win PvP weapons. Mm-hmm. Like fucking revoker. <laughs> <laughs> Shit like that. Jesus. <laughs> and Hi, it's not- Jesse. Hey, it's not- the thick Kieran is here. I have almost fury from Maze Update! What are you so mad about? 
Yeah. She's mad because she's, she's so evil. thick, and the clap of her ass cheeks keeps alerting. You know. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> It was too easy. I'm sorry. No, no, I got it. I got it. I got it. Hold on. I got it. I got it. So, um, Jesse was trying to get into the call, but she's dummy thick, and the clap of raw she to alert the Discord updates. Jesus fucking Christ. Wow. This will never Are you leave. Proud of this is a joke that will never leave. By I'm very the way. proud. In fact, I'll go one better. The update bar had to lift you to the chat <laughs> because she's dummy thick. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What did, did do you have a Shazoo? Yeah. <laughs> the fuck kind of ragtime cartoon bullshit is that? I now have is like I now have a I now have like I now have a mental image of just Jesse's OC comically drawn to have massive thighs sitting on top of the update bar for Discord as it ascends. And the chat is at the very top, but it's moving slowly, and she's just really mad and blushy about the entire situation. <laughs> okay, well, just that's why it wasn't rising. If anybody had the gall to actually do that, I will not be happy. So please do not make that art, please. All right, so I guess I'll just be okay, looking. If it for makes you feel. <laughs> okay, if it makes you feel better, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I think I'm ready. That's why I'm looking for artists that will. I, I think I'm, I'm ready. To, I think I'm ready to get to gaming. <laughs> Thank like, you. I'm, I'm still trying to. I'm still trying to figure out how in this universe or any other I'm going to try and draw Eliora's OC as Saint Fourteen. Yeah. Just put it. Just put put her in the Saint Fourteen helmet. <laughs> what? Just put uh, her in the you Saint remember Fourteen when, helmet. Um, you remember when I showed you that video clip of Saint Fourteen? No. Oh, basically, <laughs> I, barely, the big... I barely remember anything beyond this weekend right now. I just spent like three fucking days sick. No. Man, buddy, don't you dare! If anybody what? had, well, actually Jesse, draw that. there's this ma there's this concept you seem to have yet to grasp. It's called "Don't feed the trolls." Uh. That's just she, she is not wrong. Right now. Like, she honestly, is not incorrect. <laughs> like honestly though, that's just all of us and like. <laughs> oh, and so many people are encouraging it too. Oh no! Ah, <laughs> uh, the myth pony has spoken. When's Felix's birthday? Completely unrelated. <laughs> Dude, did you hear? Felix might get vector soon. Awesome. Huzzah! Can we get a hooray or something? Whoa! Spinel! What happened? I saw, I saw what Spinel said to Myth. Wait, hello? Oh, that's not Spinel. No. Spinel lover said... Not alive. Yeah. Oh my god, Miller's not blissing not the chat. Not again! Not <laughs> again! What? Somebody mistook me for Blissy again. Oh god damn it. That's your Karen, you fuck. Heartless. <laughs> okay, now you're just only okay, now you guys are just only doing that on purpose to rub salt on the wound. I hate my life. I hate it. This is a pretty <laughs> spicy wound if I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny that we refer to spice because of the the the, the freaking Neeric part of her. Yeah. Yes. But she like I mean, it's this. Well, it's it's you it, you're you're a, you're a spice coward. What? Golden just had the okay. worst brain fart of Golden? all time. <laughs> he said like Golden? 10 words at one time. <laughs> okay, Golden, first off, there's no such thing as spice cowards. And second, yes, there is. I, I, technically, I technically have more of a PTSD with spice than anything else. I can only take <laughs> spice so far. You see it like a thing of like a jar of spice and you're having veteran flashbacks. <laughs> Vietnam flashbacks. <laughs> oh, no, you don't is that, is, that, is that why you're about as intense as an ice cube in the Atlantic? Oof. <laughs> okay, Antarctic, <here's>, sorry. <laughs> okay, I need to explain this now. I need to explain this. Do you? Yes, I do. <laughs> um, okay, you know how when you have these uh, youth groups in a church and they do like some silly little game activities, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm well, aware. One of the challenges they did at my at the church I went to in my hometown, they did a spice challenge. Oh no! I already don't like where this is going. Yeah, yeah. basically.
basically they had it to where it was a hot sauce, a mixture of different types of spicy powders, and a habanero as the final part of the challenge. And, uh, and the final part of the challenge was to survive the hospital trip. <laughs> right? But, uh, Jesus. That's and like eating Christmas. This is from like... a youth group in a church. That's not a good idea for a for you know, in a church. You know? It's like you talk about these like spice activities. Whenever I think of youths in a church, all I feel is concern. You know, based on what you told me, that explains why your character can sometimes be a Neric. Still the leftover spice that you took all the challenges of. Okay, here's the fu- here's where it leads to the PTSD scenario. All right. Yes, I did take the challenge. Uh, but it was for a friend of mine because she loved they loved spicy food just as much, okay? Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Oh, and if they love spicy food, why are they gonna make you do it? Thank you for hosting that. That's what I was gonna ask. Jesse, were you peer pressured into doing something you didn't want to do? No. No, they if they were there, they were not present, and I was doing it for them because they would have wanted to do it. So I was like, all right, I'll just do it. So you were standing in for your friend who was absent. Yep. You realize they don't. You realize they friend. can't possess you like a ghost, right? They're not gonna vicariously live matter. through your torment at the hand of the spice. <laughs> it don't matter. I did it for them for... because I was being a good friend, okay? For my friend's honor. But uh, okay. <laughs> Friendship is my little bone. No, 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 no. <laughs> to continue the story, a hot sauce. Meh. Okay, tame. Tame for what it's worth. Okay, it wasn't even that okay. bad. Uh-huh. However, I wish I knew what spices they put in that powder. <laughs> because the moment I took the whole, like, they had, like, a little container of it in, in this in this thing. I consumed a part of it. I made an immediate regret. <laughs> because I felt like my mouth was on fire. I rushed to the bathroom to wash it all out of my mouth. Don't use water, you fool. You gotta use milk. You gotta use milk. Yeah, that's had milk. What that's the fuck on, kind of organiz- organized heating <laughs> tournament is this? They did they had a, okay, they had a hot going to... challenge with no milk. If you're going to a spice challenge dealing with anything spice or pepper related, and they don't bring milk in case something does and probably will go wrong, they're idiots. Now I'm concerned anyway. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, hi, Bunny. Uh, B Money Oh Nine. Now, here's another thing that I did that was also my stupid rookie move. Okay. I I tried to wash the remainder of it down with a soda. Oh! oh. Why? Why? No! I was dumb. I was dumb, okay? Hey, I Golden, can I borrow your theme song? Kid. Yes, <laughs> gladly. <laughs> you are an idiot. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can, no, put that, you can pin that on my younger self. Yes, you can pin that on my younger self because I was dumb. So you know what? where that would have led. Hmm. Well, we were all dumber when we were younger, so I can't yeah. really... No, okay, I, I was... Know, here's what happened. Here's what it led, all right. here's what it led to, the, to the climax of this story. We were in the group sitting, get doing our little service, and I was like, uh, I don't feel good. <laughs> Run to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, you, you, you threw out what the problem was. Yep. So that's why I can't handle spicy food because it's a media mm. flashback to that. Okay. Um, I'm gonna share a piece of trivia. This is winding the clocks back to I think 2014. Thespio was with a group of friends at BronyCon. You won't be able to find a video of it, but basically they were taking the hot sauce challenge and they literally had like. I was a, there. Yeah. Uh, Go uh, ahead, Ellie. In fact, in fact, that was my fault. Well, that was all. That was all my idea. Well, here's what their here's what their mistake was. They took we, they, they okay, filled it up we in a tiny. They, they, okay, it was a tiny cup, and the hey, sauce was filled up all the way. All right, did, fine. Did, did, go did, ahead. Did. Go ahead. Go ahead. Like, okay, this was all my fault because I was even the one who bought the fucking sauce. It was like it said it was a ghost pepper hot sauce because I couldn't find any fucking peppers. You monster. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You evil, no. evil person. Uh, I'm very evil. Um, I, like, uh, it was Will and Joey and Redacted, and they took one sip, and it was immediate, it was immediate choking and coughing. <laughs> 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 
And I didn't know at the because t- I like spicy food, so I've never needed to really treat the spice pain because I kind of like that burn, or I did before my fucking mouth got messed up nerve wise. But anyway, um, um, I didn't know that you needed milk, and we we had gotten sodas for on standby. What is for wrong the ghost. with everybody? <laughs> we didn't know, and it's what? like. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. god! Okay, okay. Rule of thumb, because apparently oh, all you people out in America—it's not over. It's not over. It's not over. <laughs> like nobody threw up. Thankfully, I got yelled at, and you, I, 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 <laughs> they took the challenge. <laughs> I've said multiple times that um, I've only ever really seen Will angry once. That was it. Will was legit mad at me. <laughs> wow. Oh, he was pissed. He wouldn't talk to me for like the rest of the night. <laughs> wow. Okay. And oh, but I'm still fucking evil because after all of that, the ne- next day I still made Josh Scorcher do it. But oh yes. Of the, of the hot and then try to review, try to review an um, episode. I forget what episode it was, but it was the one with the diamond dogs. Mm-hmm. Yes. I think uh, I remember the video. Scorcher got scorched. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he did. I, I did that after seeing what happened to my... <laughs> but I also want to say that before I had fed that to any of them, I had taken um, tastes on camera of the hot sauce twice to make sure that it wasn't going to kill anybody. Okay, so you tested it. Nice yes. dedication. <laughs> also, Is this good hazardous? Rule- like, good rule of thumb for anyone in America, because apparently you're all mad lads. Get fucking milk when you're doing this. <laughs> Please get milk. <laughs> okay, okay um, if you're not accustomed to spices, how are you going to flip and know this? Especially when you're a young child. Okay, I said but, rule but, um, of thumb, I... as in just, you know, you don't need to know why you do it. You just fucking do it. <laughs> well... Oh. Uh, I'm Jesse, still to be honest, because you know what? You know what I did? And Brett rem- will remember this one. After all of that, I still fucking... <laughs> I still took that hot sauce to a Babs Con, like, later on and made him, oh, Keyframe, no. and Sweetie Bloom do the same goddamn thing. Yeah. Oh I, for the record, I still have that video up. Oh, boy. I found it the other day. <laughs> Uh, I am a horrible human being. Well, no, it, whoever it, it no, whoever invented the, only, the trend, the freaking hot sauce challenge itself, is the horrible human being, not you. I, no, um, the only reason I haven't done it to anyone else is because at one point, my I think I had forgotten to put it in my suitcase, and it was in my bag when I was going through an airport, and it got confiscated. Ah. Uh. All right. Did they just take it out of Ellie's bag and they're like, "Ma'am, are you trying to assassinate somebody?" With fucking <laughs> <Tom and Nero? laughs> ma'am, we're gonna need you to step to the side. Uh, we're gonna need to give Poor you a thorough search, ma'am. Uh, except for your butthole, we know what's gonna be coming out of there. <laughs> this. Oh it my god! Be <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, 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 on that note, I think I'm ready to. I'm ready to end the pre-show. Uh-huh.